candy striper? Really? I didn't even know they made those uniforms for men. They just started. There was a lawsuit. I'm just saying. Aim higher. That's Oswald. Let's find out what happened. Medical students? Residents. They saw the same to me. Hello, I am Dr. Hauser. I'm filling in today. This is my personal candy striper, Nick Knack. Hello. He is from Guam. We will be instructing you. Let's begin. You impress me. This patient is three days post-op. He has an open wound, which is healing nicely. Hmm? <laughs> Nick Knack. Get a hold of yourself. I'll put you on the first wrap back to Talafofo. No! Oh! God, it looks like roadkill. It uh, is what his family probably thought when they came here to visit, because they love him. <clears throat> you know what? I was, I was thinking of something more in an older guy. Mm-hmm. Athletic build, perhaps in a coma or a coma-like state. The patient behind you is in a coma. No. She... Perfect. Let's begin there. John Doe, admitted two days ago with severe hypotension causing low brain perfusion. Also suffered intracranial bleed from syncope and falling down. What the hell's wrong with you? What do you get up using all those long, complicated words in front of the patient? You know, when I went to school where one goes to become a doctor... Med school. Yes, there was something called bedside manner. Do they not teach that anymore? Uh, sir, this patient's unconscious. He can't hear me. You're wrong. You're dead wrong. He can hear you. Sure, his body is sleeping, but inside, he is dancing. He is feeling it. He's doing his thing. And he hears you say all those scary words, and he retreats right back into his mind. Now, do you want to help this patient or not? Uh, of course, sir. Then speak to me like I'm 10 years old. Uh, he had a sudden drop in blood pressure, which deprived his brain of blood. He also suffered a contusion and small cerebral hemorrhage. Talk to me like I'm five. I, his blood pressure went boom, and his brain got an owie. I see. And why do we suspect foul play? We don't suspect foul play. Oh, really? You don't find anything at all strange about his condition? Well, his BP didn't come up immediately when we administered fluids. And what does that tell us? He probably took too much of his blood pressure medication by accident. Sometimes the elderly have to take a lot of pills at different dosages, or they take it, forget, and take it again. Well, there's nothing criminal about that. No. No, there's not. Well done. <laughs> Both of them. I don't know about you, but I'm drained. What do you say we take a fiver, grab a Coke, maybe play some Frogger? Doctor, we still have a lot of patients to see. Well, five minutes isn't gonna kill them, is it? Is it? We did it, Gus. Yep. We beat my dad. Proved our point. Now let's rub it in a little. Maybe make fun of his toes. Give Jervis the good news. Get the hell out of here. I hear that. I'm starving. Yeah. That's four in a row, Thomas. You're on fire. <laughs> you just broke the Pines record. Yeah. For what? Number of times jumping in without breaking a hip? Yeah. That's funny, kid. Hey, tell me, who is this? Oh, that's my uh, grandson, Sean, and his uh, Gus. Hey, guys, meet Buddy Markowitz. Used to be a stand-up in the Catskills, and Rodrigo Lopez, one time number five, clearly no longer lightweight champion of the world. And that's my Asian friend, who flung poo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. That guy wasn't even Asian. Well, that's what makes it funny. <laughs> <laughs> You mind if we steal G Pop here for a second? No, just as long as he's back in time for the cannonball competition. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. What are you wearing? Well, you didn't pack me any trunks, Sean. It's the only thing I could borrow. Yeah, well, while you've been here playing at Camp Cocoon, we've been busy solving the case. We found Oswald. He was in the hospital. Time to get you out of here. Oh, whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. We can't leave yet. Why not? This case isn't over. It, look, this place is a hotbed of suspicious activity. Hey there. Oh. Here's your sandwich, Talmadge. Well, thank you, <laughs> Meredith. Thank you. Th 
Ooh, where's that barbecue sauce? You know, Pamela really doesn't like complainers here. You know, you're lucky. You should see the food they give my mother over at that horrible Sunshine Meadows place. It is one step above cat food. Well, gee, Mary, I'd feel a whole lot luckier if the sweetest woman in the world would score me just a little teensy, inky, winky bit of steak sauce. Come on. Your grandfather is a flirt. You heard him. Nah. <laughs> that is disgusting. You like it here. You, you do. That, that's... That's why you want to keep investigating, because you like the sandwiches and the adulation. Sean, I'm telling you, something else is going on here. Dad, we found Oswald. There's nothing left to solve. Yeah. Admit it. We beat you because we have the sweetness. All right, clear a path, folks. Coming through. It's all right. It's be you have fine. the sweetness. Come on. Huh? What about that guy, Sean? <laughs> What about that one? They're dropping like flies. 